happened on Saturday, and I still can't quite believe that it happened in the manner uh, <laughs> that he did. Of course, Borussia Dortmund could only manage that draw against Mainz. Musiala's goal gave Bayern Munich the victory against Cologne. They then win the title thanks to goal difference. Jan, it's the first time that we've been able to talk to you since that dramatic final day on Saturday. And so much drama has happened afterwards as well. Miss Ali Hamovic and, of course, Oliver Kahn out. Yeah, I, I don't think where you will start and how much space we have. I mean, <laughs> if I start with a, with a tight race, it was typical Dortmund, typical Bayern. There were 81,000 in the stadium, 60,000 outside waiting to have a big wow. party, yellow and black. They all, they, they, they thought they would remember this day for the rest of their life. And believe me, they will, but for the negative reasons. Then we have what happening after the game or before the game on Thursday, uh, Don Corleone, Hernes, and Herbert Heiner, <laughs> the so-called boss, because Uli Hernes is the boss, whatever happened, take Salahamidzic and Khan in. This is on Thursday. And they say to them, we give you 24 hours. Just as you know, you won't be in that job for next season, but you have the, the way to do it peacefully. Uh, Salahamidzic is reacting the way very professionally said, fair enough, but I will be with the team. I will support him in the last game. Khan, where here we are a bit, some say that, some say that. But Bayern says he reacted angrily, as we know Oliver Kahn from all his career. That could be right. And they agreed on the Friday, give us a call, Oliver, then we'll talk it through peacefully. Did they have another <laughs> call on fr Friday? And he was not peacefully. So what did <laughs> so 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 why do what do Herbert Heiner and Uli Hoeneß do? They go out, they new, make an extraordinary extra Aufsichtsrat supervisory board meeting. And they just fire him. And then uh, Khan said, they told me not to go to Köln for the last game. But Bayern said, why should you go there? You don't have a job. You're not a CEO of Bayern. <laughs> and th this is, this is brutal. But this is Bayern. So Bayern wow. win this game. They, don't, they didn't never thought that they would win the title. They thought all was done. They thought that Dortmund will win against Mainz because they're winning every home game in the whole world, Dortmund. So after the game, Thomas Müller goes to an interview. And the first question is, not congratulations on your title. Have you heard that your head of sport, that the CEO of the club is fired? Thomas Müller said, wait, they waited one minute? That was his response after the game. <laughs> So, so on, on, on Sunday, they had a big, big com press conference. Just before the press conference, Oliver Kahn made a tweet saying, I was sensible, there was nothing into this, and so on and so on. This is Bayern. What is Bayern done? They're giving a new two-year contract to Dresden, who is one of the boys. They have taken Karlheim's Rummenigge back, which is, <laughs> is one of the boys. La Famiglia is finally together again, and we look forward to a new season. And if I can end on this episode of this soap opera called FC Hollywood, I would say so much. They thought that maybe it was so frustrated, Thomas Tuchel, that even he will leave his post. I don't think so. I think this means that Thomas Tuchel will be more powerful than ever in the hierarchy of Bayern Munich. Oh, no, let's, let's uh, delve into that a little deeper, Jan. This is, of course, what Thomas Tuchel had to say. Uh, it was weird, as you say, the atmosphere around Bayern, even yeah. after winning the title. It was like, really? We did? Uh, we have to play faster, play better, play more consistently. We want to improve on all levels. We have to come back as a unit. We want to make sure there's a family feeling and also protect ourselves from external influences and opinions. This is very important. Only then can we demand everything from the players why do you think these moves have made him stronger, Jan? Because I think that Thomas Tuchel... I mean, since a Norwegian said the 20th of April that Oliver Kahn will be fired, remember that, Dan? I said that. Uh, uh, yes, and, yes. You also said yeah, Liverpool were going to finish top four. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, I, th I think we all did, didn't we? Uh, but, uh, <laughs> no, I don't we, think we did. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 I remember what we all said before the season. Uh, sorry, Dan. Uh, yes. Uh, to, yes, but yes, around that yeah. same time you were tweeting about Khan, you were uh, tweeting about extra, Liverpool. Uh, but we got off. Uh, we got uh, off uh, yeah, exactly. No, no, uh, no, I'll go on. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Khan and Bayern, very suspicious. Now, that will never happen. That will won't do that, and that will do that. Salahamidzic, they will look for a team manager. Now, I got a feeling now, as they're taking Uli Hoeneß and Karl-Heinz Rummenigge, former players, closer to the sport again, because everybody's close to the sport at Bayern Munich, they will get in a new 
team manager kind of thing. But I think that Thomas Tuchel will be much more involved now in the recruitment part of it. We know that they're looking for a striker. Julian Nagelsmann mm. said at the beginning of the season, now that, that's not so important. I, I'll be flexible. We'll, we'll find a way. And then I found Chopo Moting, who did OK. Uh, but, and then they need a number six. They're looking for that. And it seems that now that Thomas Tuchel's opinion is more heard of. Just i give you an example. Vlaovic from Juventus, he was never mm. a candidate. They said, no, he's not a candidate. It's too expensive. Thomas Tuchel loves him. The la last report now is that he is the favourite to come in to buy it. I think that Thomas Tuchel, you will see more in an English version of a manager. So Thomas Tuchel, I don't think he will walk out uh, of the club. He will stay there. This is a, a <laughs> long-time project, quote, <laughs> at Bayern. They said that about Nagelsmann. Nagelsmann was supposed to stay there for a generation. Uh, and, and it is also a paradox, if I may say, because we discussed it so much on these shows, that when, when uh, Nagelsmann was fired, Everybody said that Khan was so cruel in the way they're firing him. Now Khan yep. is fired and Khan says, oh, you're so cruel to me the way you fired me. <laughs> I mean, this is this is the ruthless of football, isn't it? Uh, yeah, and it's going to be a long summer, of course. There's no major tournament, so we know there's going to be a lot of rumours, uh, a lot of clubs, a lot of players being linked to Bayern Munich. For example, Harry Kane. We've seen the back page today. Declan Rice uh, is linked as well to Bayern Munich. We're talking big money, though, like $100 million. Is that in the realms of Bayern Munich at all? I think they have to do that. But it was also an interesting decision this week. They wanted to, not to take away that 50 plus 1 rule, meaning that the, the fans still going to have the last words. They, they didn't talk about that. But they tried to commercialise even more the Bundesliga. But... They, were had, they had a vote, uh, and all the clubs in the first league and the second league, there was a, a majority to keep that thing. So they need more, more money to compete. As for Harry Kane, you just feel that he will go after all the records in England. Uh, and for, for Rice, I think that is also a player that Tuchel loves, that likes. Mm. This is the guy he would like to take him there. There is not a big tradition of, of great English players going to, to, to German football, but I think they will find the money. I think they have to sell. The, the last thing now, Cancelo is going back to Manchester City. I, th I think they try to get uh, Mané away. I think they will also listening to offer for Gnabry. I think they try to raise money because they are desperate to get their striker in and an alternative as number six, as Kimmich and Goretzka haven't been working so much lately uh, as they hoped. And then for, for Shaka is also the keeper situation. What kind of form will Manuel Neuer be when he comes back? Will they then keep Sommer? Will they keep Nubel, who is on loan to Monaco? Yes, but it's a long summer. But I think that Bayern, I got a feeling they need a long summer to sort out all their problems. And by the way, way they won the league. Uh, yeah, indeed they did. Uh, one player you didn't <laughs> mention there, and I'm intrigued because the Spanish papers have gone big on Alfonso Davies yeah. making that move, Jan, to Real Madrid. Yeah, there, there are... I, I will see Davis apparently agreed a new contract, but he said he would let it depend on the future of Salahamidzic. I thought that was right. a funny quote anyway, because everybody knew that there was a chance that he would be fired too. But I think they will keep Davis. Also, all the rumours you hear about Joshua Kimmich, they are wrong, because this is the future, that is their base, that is the future <coughs> captain for, for Bayern. And it's also interesting to see how they define the role of Thomas Müller. Tom, Thomas Müller is a god of, of Bayern, of Munich. But they know that if he's going to play every game, there is a guy called Musiala who won't mm. play every game. Can they afford doing that? And so on. So it's a lot of, lot of questions to be answered at Bayern at the moment. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, isn't it? Many surprised that uh, Thomas Tuchel actually won any silverware given what happened when he came in. Of course, knocked out of the German Cup, which sets things up nicely for the weekend. Of course, we have the Pokal final for you live on ESPN+. Plus. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.